beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today I plan on talking about the Pop Sugar 2020 reading challenge. Pop Sugar releases a reading challenge every year. For the last couple years I've read some of the prompts and thought that they sounded really interesting but I've never dipped my toes in the water. So this year I decided to swan dive head first. We're doing this challenge. I have created a board for this challenge that I plan on hanging up. Keep in mind that I suck at arts and crafts, but I, I made this, I made this to hang up on my wall and it includes all of the prompts and as I do my wrap ups every month, any book that fills a prompt is going to get checked off the board, which I think will be very therapeutic and excellent motivation to keep going. So for this video, I kind of plan on running down all of the prompts. There are 40 of them total. And I'm going to tell you two books that I am interested in reading for the prompt um, or that kind of caught my eye. I won't have time to go into big descriptions on why I picked them and what the books are about because there are 40 prompts. We would be here forever and I don't think anybody wants that. So I'm just going to go through, read the prompt, read you the books. If it needs a little more explanation, I will stop and do so. But for the most part, we're just going to wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, through this list. The first prompt is a pretty straightforward one and that is a book that is going to be published in 2020. There are lots of options for this but I am using One of Us is Next by Karen McManus or I Killed Zoe Spanos by Kit Frick. The next prompt is a book written by a trans or non-binary author, Don't Call Us Dead by Denise Smith and If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. The next prompt is a book with a great first line and for this I will read you the first line of the books that I have selected. The first book is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stevewater and the first line is Blue Sargent had forgotten how many times she'd been told that she would kill her true love. The next book is Anna Karenina by Lee Tolstoy. And the first line of this book is happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. The next prompt is a book about a book club. And for that, I have the Bromance Book Club by Lissa K. Adams and the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires by Grady Hendrix. The next prompt is a book that's set in a city that has held the Olympics. And for that, I am going to include All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Deere and Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. The next prompt is to include a book that is a buildings room in. And for that, I'm going to read the exact definition so that you know. And that is a novel dealing with one person's formative years or spiritual education. For this prompt, I plan on reading either The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chopsky or Little Women by Louisa May. The next prompt is the first book you touch with your eyes closed. I obviously can't give you any suggestions because I have not done that prompt yet. So just be aware that is one of the prompts. The next prompt on the list is a book with an upside down image on the cover. And for that, I have The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenis or New Boy by Tracy Chavaller. The next prompt is a book that includes a map. And for this, I've included Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin or Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. Prompt number 10 is a book recommended to you by your favorite blogger, bookstagrammer, booktuber. And for this prompt it is the only prompt that I only have one option because I'm for sure positive that this is the book that I want to read and it is a recommendation by a booktuber and that is Books and Lala. She is my favorite booktuber to watch. If you somehow stumbled upon my teensy tiny channel and don't know who she is absolutely go check her out. She is amazing. I love watching all of her videos and we have the same name so I also enjoy that. And that book is going to be Dress Codes for Small Towns by Courtney C. Stevens. The next prompt is to read an anthology and for that I have planned to read Across the Universe Tales of Alternative Beatles. My second answer anthology that I'd want to read and that is His Hideous Heart. Prompt number 12 is a book that passes the Bechdel test which is essentially two women in the book have to have a conversation not about a man. Both women need to have actual names in the book. This is kind of a discussion on 
women's rep representation in books and more so more so movies but also books so for this I'm going to include The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood and The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. Prop number 13 is a book with the same title as a movie or TV show but that is unrelated to that movie or TV show. And for that I have The Lion Game by Ruth Ware and The Passengers by John Marr. The next prompt is a book with flora or fauna in the author's name which either means a flowery name or a name relating to animals. And for this prompt, I'm going to use Say You're Sorry by Karen Rose or She's Come Undone by Wally Lamb. Prompt number 15 is a book involving social media. And for this prompt, I plan on using The Herd by Andrea Bartz or Bear Town by Frederick Backman. The next prompt is a book with a book on the cover. And for this prompt, I plan on using The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman or A Date with Darcy by Tiffany Schmidt. The next prompt on the list is a medical thriller and I felt wrong to not include The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelitis. And then I also have Infected by Scott Sigler. Prompt number 18 is a book that includes a made-up language in it, and for that I have The Fellowship of the Ring by George R.R. R. Tolkien or Nevernight by J. Kristoff. Prompt number 19 is a book that is set in a country that begins with C, and for this I have Next Year in Havana by Chanel Clayton, and that book is set in Cuba. And then I also have Aisha at Last by Yuzma Jalaladeen, and that book is set in Canada. The next prompt in the halfway point is a book that caught your eye because of the title. And for this, I am using High Risk, A Doctor's Notes on Pregnancy, Birth, and the Unexpected by Chavi Eve Karkowski. And then my other one is Mexican Gothic by Sylvia Monroe Garcia. The next prompt is a book that is published on the month of your birth. For me, that is July. So I am including Wilder Girls by Rory Powers or Go Set the Watchmen by Harper Lee. Prompt number 22 is a book about women in STEM. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math, if you did not know. And for this, I plan on using either the book The Kiss Quotient by Helen Hong or Lab Girls by Hope Jarin. Prompt number 23 is a book that won an award in 2019. I am choosing to not include a Goodreads award. That's just me. If you choose to use a Goodreads award, go right ahead. Not a lot of 2019 awards have been announced yet, so I'm just using two that I know for a fact have won awards and that's going to be True Exercise by Susan Cho and The Yellow House by Sarah M. Broom. The next prompt is a book on a subject that you know nothing about and so this will differ person to person. For me I plan on using War Cross by Marie Lu and The Summer of 69 by Ellen Hildebrandt. Prompt number 25 is a book with only words on the cover. For this, I plan on using The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. Any Amanda Lovelace book will work because they all only have words on the cover. And then a backup for me is A Large and Very Expansive Sea by Taryn Maffey. The next prompt is to read a book with a pun in the title. And for that, I will either reread Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston or I will read High Achievers by Tiffany Jenkins. This next prompt is one that you are supposed to read a book that identifies with one of the seven deadly sins. And for this, I plan on either reading The Correction by John Franzen or We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Moving right along, this prompt is reading a book with either AI, a robot, or a cyborg character. And for this prompt, I either plan on using Thunderhead or The Toll by Neil Schusterman or Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This next prompt is a book with a bird on the cover. And for that, I plan on either using Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo or The Astonishing Color of After by Emily X. R. Pan. 
This one we have fiction or nonfiction about a world leader. And for this, I would like to either read Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernov or Three Dark Crowns by Kendrick Blake. Prompt number 31 is to read a book with either bronze, silver, or gold in the title. And for this prompt, I plan on either reading Darling Rose Gold by Stephanie Warble or Golden Hour by Ben H. Winters. The next prompt is to read a book written by a woman of color. And for that, my plan is to either read Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron or When Dimple Met Rishi by Sandia Menon. Prompt number 33 is to read a at least four star rating book on Goodreads. And for that, I plan on either reading Heartstoppers 1, 2, or 3 by Alice Oseman or Big Little Lies by Liana Moranty. Prop number 34 is to read a book that you meant to read in 2019. And for that, I have Renegades by Marissa Myers on my list and The Great Sheer by Kim Ligetti. Prop number 35 is to read a book with a three word title. And for that, I am looking at Six Angry Birds by Adrian Kistner and Under the Rainbow by Celia Lasky. Prop number 36 is to read a book with a pink cover and for this I have Clickbait by Anne Vallette and Bunny by Mona Awad. The next prompt I think is personally going to be the hardest one for me to complete and that is going to be to read a western. I am maybe stretching this a little bit but I am going to include my Calamity Jane, written by Brody Ashton, Cynthia Hand, and Jody Meadows. The other one that I plan on filling might also be a bit of a stretch, and that is Dread Nation by Justine Freeland. The next prompt is a book by or about a journalist, and for this I have A False Report, The True Story of Rape in America by Christine Ann Miller and Kevin Armstrong. And then I also have Three Women by Lisa Tadlow. 39 is to read a banned book. So I have Brave New World by Aldous Huxley and The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. And the last prompt was to pick a prompt from a previous Pop Sugar year that you liked. And I liked um, the prompt, a book that you think should be a movie. So it's not a movie yet, but you think it should be. And for that, I am picking Darius the Great is Not Okay by Adib Karam or The Tenth Girl by Sarah Faring. Okay, we made it to the end. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. So I plan on reading a separate book for each one of the prompts, but I think you could easily double and triple up and still totally kill this Pop Sugar Challenge. If the Pop Sugar Challenge is something that sounded interesting to you and you would like to participate in it, I would really love if you would leave a comment below because I would love to get like a support group started of people who are all trying to achieve this common goal. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps me out so much. And I can't thank everybody enough for their continued support. Mm -hmm. Until I see you next time, bye!